Hey, I'm Gretchen Men for Guitar Player Magazine, and I'm going to be checking out Guitar Pro 7 for you. So Guitar Pro 7 is music notation and transcription software compatible with both Windows and Mac. It's designed for writing and editing both tablature and standard sheet music for guitar, bass, and other fretted instruments like ukulele, banjo, mandolin, but it also allows you to edit music notation for a whole variety of other instruments like strings and winds and keyboards and percussion and drums. But the thing that makes it very specifically geared towards guitarists, as the name would imply, is that it's all done with a tablature based system. So that means that you can input your tablature and it converts it automatically to standard notation as well, which is very handy if you're going to be writing for other instruments. Say you want to write a duet for guitar and cello you're not going to hand a cellist guitar tablature. That would be very frustrating for everybody. So you're able now with this to write in a way that's familiar to you and yet to then share that music also with other instrumentalists in a way that is comprehensible for them. So for those of you who are already familiar with earlier versions of Guitar Pro, Guitar Pro 7 does incorporate a number of new features. So the interface has been redesigned to make it even more intuitive. It's now compatible with Retina, and HD displays. There are new music notation elements that have been introduced such as pick scrapes and dead slaps and enhanced bending options. There's also tablature for all tracks, even non-fretted instruments, a polyphonic tuner, and over a thousand presets that combine a sound bank and effects chain as well as various audio export formats. So it should be noted that Guitar Pro 7 isn't an alternative for like a professional scoring program like Finale or Sibelius. Those serve a different function. This should be seen and appreciated as an affordable, flexible, very intuitive tool specifically geared towards guitar players. So here's what it looks like. The interface is quite straightforward, um, not intimidating. I was able to figure out most of what I wanted to do just simply by reading the screen, which to me is like the simplest definition of something being intuitive. So if you look here, from you can go to play and edit, new file, open file, my songbook, that's a really cool feature. That's something I'll talk about at the end. Um, you can have recent files, things that you've recently done, obviously, templates. So if you know you're going to be writing for classical guitar or whatever, jazz quintet, you also have examples here. Um, so you can sort of see how things look. Let's go ahead and we'll just open up a new file so you can see what that looks like. One of the really cool things that you can do is it offers a, just a ton of options for guitar sounds. Everything from nylon, string to resonator to distorted guitar, um, but also within those options there are even more options. So let's take for a minute this overdriven guitar. We can, yeah, we can have overdrive sounds and then we also have things like blues. And it's really easy to audition sounds by doing things like selecting and playing. You can also go, let's say, to uh, vintage. I wonder what that sounds like. But now here's something that's also super cool is they've got tons of preset sounds. And they're named for the iconic sounds that they're referencing so you've got something like burn you know so they're gonna get a little richie blackmore kind of vibe you can also do something like cashmere but in cashmere let me show you another cool thing it does so you can do alternate tunings not only for six string guitars but also seven and eight string guitars since we're talking about cashmere here we got to do it in dad gap So that's another really cool function is that you can do all of these just tons of different tunings. So I'll just go ahead and select nylon string guitar, let's just go classical, we can create a score and then you can see how well everything is laid out. It, it's really, really easy. It's like, okay, you change your clef, there you go, there's your clef and you can choose, you know, bass clef alto clef, tenor clef, um, let's just go to 
that because that's what we use as guitar players. I mean, and then everything else, it's like right there, key signature. There you go. So it's really, really easy to navigate. Tuplets are right here, triplets. Um, and something that's really important is just all of these very specifically guitar type approaches. So let me just input a couple of notes. This is not meant to be a tutorial. I'm gonna give you a recommendation for a great tutorial at the end of this. So we use the arrow keys to select which string for the tab and then uh, type in the number of the fret that you want. So we'll just add in a bunch of notes right now to demonstrate. And you can also select to have the sound on as you input notes or keep it quiet. And then from here you can add articulations. So say you want to do a slide. So you just select and then you move over to slide. And then if you want to hear it in playback, you just go up to the top, make sure you're at the beginning and there you go. You also have things like for bent notes here, maybe you want to bend this note and look at how cool this is. You can choose like how much of a bend, you can do a half step bend, you can do a quarter bend, you can do a full bend, you can choose how quickly the bend happens, like this is one of the coolest features I think. So let's have it be a full step bend. And then you also have things like harmonics, you have slap now, pop notes, and as you hover over each option also you see you get the, the quick commands that are very handy to use as well, but um, takes a little bit of memorization obviously. One other really cool thing is the Guitar Pro team has a huge encyclopedia of sheet music on mysongbook.com and you can get there from this home screen or you can just go to mysongbook.com and you can open your scores in Guitar Pro 7. They have like monthly and single buying subscriptions available um, and they have this enormous catalog just I think like so many songs in uh, tab and transcription uh, and transcriptions available and it makes it really easy to learn songs to adjust things within songs it's just a great learning tool a couple of things it must be said that I wish I could do and maybe I just haven't figured it out but so far I don't think there's a way to do it is I wish I could just input the notes without having to go through tab. That's just because a lot of times I will write a line of music and I'm still deciding on what fingering I want to use, but by doing it with the tab, it means I'm sort of committing to a fingering that I may or may not actually want to commit to. And also, I so wish I could drag notes around, but that's maybe me coming from Sibelius, like it's not letting me drag notes around. But other things are really straightforward, you know, like, um, you can do things like you can copy, you can cut, you can paste. So this barely even scratches the surface of all of the features and functions of Guitar Pro 7, but hopefully at least it gives you a little bit of a window into some of the things that it can do. And I should add, I'm coming to Guitar Pro 7 as a totally blank slate. I've never actually used any of the Guitar Pro products previously, so if you have past experience, it'll probably be really easy for you to get up and running. And if you don't, I can attest that it's quite intuitive. It's not going to cause you a lot of headaches to get going on it. And if you do decide to go with it, what I want to recommend is a series of fantastic YouTube tutorials. So Levi Clay, you can find him on YouTube and on Patreon. He has wonderful tutorials and a whole series specifically on Guitar Pro 7. They're very clear, they're very comprehensive. He really knows what he's talking about. So thank you so much to Guitar Player Magazine for having me. Thank you to Guitar Pro for letting me check out the cool program and thank you to you guys for watching. I wish you health and happiness and lots of bountiful muses along your musical journey.